Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Reich. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and we are playing, of course, as the beautiful Ottoman Empire. Right now, we are in our own faction. The last focus we've just done, this is looking pretty nice, actually, was the Allies in the Maghreb focus, in which now we got decisions to invite people to our alliance or faction. Uh, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should autocomplete the Grand Vizier Sabahatin, and you guys recommended yes. Overall, that was, we should go ahead and just do that so we can get these stuff unlocked, which would be. Probably a good thing to do, so. Every own state unrest will decrease. It's not bad. Ooh, but you get bloated bureaucracy. Ooh, that does not look good. Really get status. Repeal the unification decree. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. Encourage private initiative. Equality before the law. Oh, uh, wow. There's a lot of stuff here. Has national spirit bloated bureaucracy. And then you remove that. Okay, cool. So we can do that. However, I also asked you guys yesterday whether we should do secure the Persian Gulf or stability in the Arab Peninsula. And overall, it was recommended you guys, from you guys that we should do stability in the Arab Peninsula, which I suppose we could do right now. So, since centuries, the inhospitable desert of the Arab Peninsula has served as both a natural barrier and path of invasion for its inhabitants. To defend the rich hinterlands of the Mashriq from said threat, we and empires before us have worked together or worked with a string of allies and puppet states on the southern flank and ensure the prosperity of Mesopotamia can't be harmed. The threat posed by the Wahhabists has shown that more power that more than ever before the Ottoman control over Arabia is a fact, is, or should be as strong as possible. I, I'm going to complete the focus for them. Cool. And of course, we have the Reichs back here. Someone said that we should have helped out Germany. Yeah, we should have, but when, they literally took over Paris again, and uh, well, Germany lost Paris. And even though they held it for like quite a while, actually. So we took out Bulgaria. We are at war with the Reichs Pact, unfortunately. It is what it is. We got nothing personal against them. It's just they were kind of in our way. So what can I do about it? We are building up more stuff as well, and I'm going to go ahead and invite Wadai to the Istanbul Pact. Probably not a great thing to do, but we'll do it anyways. Hopefully they'll join. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Out oh, the comments. Play more of Equestriate War, especially the Changelings. Well, we'll see about that. Uh, I'm not against it at all. I'm really not against it at all. So, we'll see what happens. I don't mind playing as them. So, and then under the comments said, be careful of your manpower. Yes, be very, very careful. And they joined our faction. Nice. We are that much stronger now. That much stronger with Wadai with us. Hmm, Mohammed Orada Ibn Ibrahim. Cool. And they don't want to join us. Okay, whatever. Let's see. So we're building all this stuff. Oh, we we just built some stuff up. I'm going to keep trading for, for more resources. So we're going to need more uh, factories. So, thank you. One, two, three. And we're going to need some more of this as well. I don't really like building stuff here on the coast because we could use that for naval dockyards. But naval dockyards are, aren't really my priority right now. Fuel, we can do that. I'm going to grab even more rubber. And actually, that's a good thing probably we should make first before that other stuff. There you go. Make three refineries right there. More factories, more factories, because I am wanting to increase the amount of heavy tanks we are making because we want to make bigger, thicker tanks. Over here, we can probably lower this by five if we really wanted to. we got to get more steel somehow. And by doing that, we've got to trade for it. What has been called in, so be it, finally. Over here, anything? Oh, mountaineers, we probably boost our mountaineers up a little bit more. We should probably research more on planes. Even though, right now, I am tempted to go to war with the United States of Greater Austria, the Dono Adriabund, because at least that way, that would give us a direct access point. A oh, victory of the Dominion, oh wow. It's a rush edit again. Oh wow. Hello, India. Oh, that's a lot of resistance, India. Hello. But, I would like to go to war with them. Wow, this looks... Oh, the reformed government of China. There we go, look at that. Yang Yuting. Interesting. Someone did say in the comments that we will eventually end up winning a war against the Third International. Maybe you're right. Maybe we should go to try to fight them now, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Georgia. How's Georgia doing? Are they allied? They're guaranteed by them. So... Cool. Let's go and do that then. It's pretty cheap to go to war with them. Now, I will be honest here. I, I have a sub-mod on called the Fast Justification Mods because I accidentally left that on when I was playing as a different nation in a different campaign. So that's why war justifications are super fast. But actually, if I think about it, it's kind of okay since it's 1944 Kaiserreich. It's like World War II or the Second Valkyrie. At this point, you should be able to go to war with anyone really quickly. But that's just me. Let's see. We could add some more dockyards to our guys. We could do that. I do want to finish this stuff too, but why would I want to hurt my stability, you know? Oh, more max factories in the state would not be bad too. That looks really bad too. Uh, why? Oh, we have to be... Oh, we can't do this. We should have done this before then. That is my bad. That is absolutely my bad. I should have done this when we get more population... Or infrastructure, I should really say. 
Dreadnought Snail Doctrine. Forts would be good to do, but meh. I mean, this comments for me to, like, use Cons commands and get a more conservative government, but as another comment said, we should... There's a possibility we could elect a different party into power when the next elections happen, so that's good to remember as well. Now let's go and secure oil shipping routes. With oil exploitation in Iraq and Bahrain accelerating in the wake of the American collapse, the Straits of Hormuz is surely but slowly but surely developing itself into the most crucial access point to these seemingly unlimited reserves. Muscat is weak, divided by overly powerful nobles, religious differences, and decaying army. As such, they need her guidance and as such serve as a shield that protects the Gulf from foreign interference. We're going to get 0.98 political power a day. Not bad. We could reverse some stuff. We have 10% social liberal support. Whatever. I think my goal of get go get to get to be our go to closed economy, which gives us just a tad more steel, a tad more aluminum, a tad more of everything. Even though we lose a few bonuses here, but I think that'd be okay. Or we could go with military staff. Ooh, more defense is not bad. I would like more attack actually though. Defense it's not too bad. That's only five percent. Uh, that's not really worth it in my mind. Organization and recovery it's not bad either. Infantry equipment. Oh, we could produce even more artillery more quickly. That's not bad. Special forces. I'll probably go with this guy then. We can build things more quickly and we get more attack and defense from artillery, which I think is just really, 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 really good. Let's grab some of this because we can't use outdated planes. And then we'll fix the focuses or the trade laws, really. Very good. Alright, so we should be able to go to war these guys relatively soon ish. They're looking pretty thick over there. You guys are next to Romania. Yeah, we'll probably do this. Oh, we're also trying to make one tank division here, too. I think it's just best for us to go to war with these guys. Quickly get them out of the way. And eventually we'll probably end up going to war with these guys, too. Actually, if we do go to war with Georgia, we do end up going to war with those guys, so... Hmm. Niger, huh? Hmm. Cool. You guys over here. And someone did recommend that I try to navally invade... The Ukraine to get a puppet and break the stalemate over here. I could, and I would like to. We just gotta wait a little bit longer. Actually, am I going to getting involved in it over here? We might be able to cause or get a East European puppet when everything collapses, maybe? That'd be kind of cool. Spread Ottoman influence into the Eastern European side of things. That wouldn't be bad. I'm building more stuff up, building even more infrastructure, which is good, good, good. It is very, very nice. Especially because China's falling apart, too. <laughs> We're training these soldiers because, well, really, honestly, we've got a lot of equipment. Except for heavy tanks, of course, but that's fine with me. We actually have some armored cars, too, and I could use some more army XP, actually. Yeah, it's not looking good. We actually don't get any more daily army XP again, huh? Naval bombers, I'd like to get rid of those, but we're not going to. Ooh, anti-tank is not bad. Actually, hmm. We need to go to war by when? The 30th, huh? Oh, infrastructure's gonna be so bad around here. Azerbaijan, quite a bit of resistance. Let's go and go to war with these guys just so we can get it done. Oh, look at that, more divisions. Nice. <clears throat> now, this is probably a bad idea, and if I have to, I'll stop training you guys, and then we're gonna help defend over here if possible. Let's see what happens, because we are looking at we bit weak. We're gonna call in our allies, we're fighting these guys already, so. Alright, so they immediately attack us. Especially in some positions. Oh, well, actually, they're... Oh, I got two divisions there. I thought I did one for some reason. Not bad. If you guys could attack and get out of this crap hole that of infrastructure or lack of supply, go right ahead, please. Good. Come on over here. I love using puppet divisions for manpower. Look at that. So much better. Ooh, an armor? Yeah, we definitely want some armor. That'll help against the Austrians. I'm not even attacking them. They're attacking... They're attacking us. We lost quite a few guys already. But the Georgians... Not bad. We will attack them. I would. I don't mind using tanks, but we'll see what happens. You guys, we gotta attack you quite rapidly. So basically, someone said we should naval invade them, or the Ukrainians, really. That's a lot of manpower in Georgia. But how about over here? Ah, uh, so a good amount. So we'll see what happens. We shall see what happens. You guys, technically, the Soviets or the Russian Socialist Republic doesn't have claims on this. So. Maybe we could get the Don Kuban Union as a puppet of us, as a buffer state between us and the Russian nation? Maybe? Yes? Yes? Do whatever we can to make ourselves successful? Yes, please. That'd be very, very good. Netherlands, not looking too good. Let's take a look. Now, if the Germans were able to capture Paris again, then I might consider joining them. But, it's not looking too good. It just isn't. I have 189 factories. Not bad, Reno. We need definitely more military factories, too, so... 
I always want to keep at least one line of military factories at all times at this point. Azerbaijan getting more resources, or more resources, more infrastructure, I should really say. Ooh, we found a back way into Georgia? Maybe. Now, could you guys attack and do well? No. Probably not. But we're going to try it anyways. And hopefully do okay. Seems like we got a lot of upgrades. And I'll be honest, there's a lot of support for this campaign. A lot more support than I originally, initially, um... I thought that it would be, so I appreciate everyone watching my videos. No matter how ragey I was earlier in the campaign, no matter how frustrated I, I may have sounded or actually was, but I do appreciate you guys coming around and watching the videos, so. Alright, at this point, we're going to stop. I don't want to send you to the front. I could send you guys off. I think that'd be okay. Let's go come down here. Just because I want to hold the line against these guys. And actually, for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and do this, too. There you go. Something like that. Just so it's a little bit more balanced, and you guys don't kill yourself on the line, because attacking into here is just not worth it right now. There's so many soldiers. There you go. Secure oil shipping routes. Great. Allies in the Orient. We can invite Azerbaijan and Afghanistan to Istanbul back. Well, it's probably not going to happen, but regardless, for decades, the Ottoman Empire has fostered relations with their distant brethren of the Orient. From the deserts and mountains of East Turkestan to the plains of Central Asia and Indian lowlands, our brethren are ready to stand together in these troubling times. Yeah, don't invite in, uh, one of the Indias because they're not here anymore. So, yeah. We have lost 102,000. Really not that bad. The Ankaban Union. Wow. We have killed off almost 30,000 of them. And for Georgia, we've killed off almost 81,000. So that's not too bad, I'd say. We might be able to attack and win here, maybe... Maybe. Nice. You might be able to... Yeah, 69 is pretty nice. That's nice. One. Probably not. Over here, you might be able to do well. Maybe. If people help support your attack. Because they are two divisions, but they're militia divisions. So you guys are doing very nicely, actually. Yeah, we can get the Don Caban Union as a little puppet here. I think that'd be tremendous. Um, I'm going to tell you guys, go the other way. There you go. Yeah, they're not doing that well anymore, which is nice. You guys go ahead and fill up the line right here. That'd be quite bueno for us. We could definitely use you right there. Thank you. Thank you. The fall of Rio de Janeiro, the Brazilian situation, appears to be quite dire. And that's not a bad thing for us. We just have to be smart about attacking here. We have opened up. Oh, God. The lines are not looking good over there. They're quickly getting over there, which is good. Uh, ho hopefully they don't cut us off. That'd be quite, quite bad. We still seem to be doing pretty well across the front, so even if we're not winning right here, right now, we should be right now. There you go. Cool. Get in the line there, guys. Especially if we're thinning out their divisions, which makes it easier for us to, for us to attack here. Head on in, fellas. Oh, it is a mountain province, so I apologize for the, the dead that you will incur, but it's a necessary evil. 1v1, how about 1v3v1, v and how about 4v1? There you go. See what you can do. Sierra Leone is gone. Goodbye, Sierra Leone. I hardly knew you. Because that's really because I don't know you at all. Hey, they attack us. Cool. It's perfect time to attack them back then. Cool. Perfect. Can you actually attack the... Yeah, yeah. Why not? Very good. Gotta be careful of the manpower. Manpower is precious. It is one of the most precious things you can have. Oh, look at this. Focus relief efforts. Unreasonable decrease. Crush corruption. Oh, look at that. Recruit more local troops. Hmm. Actually, hold on. Before we do that, let's just doubly make sure. Any sort of resistance where we can put it down that, that can be modified. Maybe. Why is Armenia so high? Very high unrest. Well. Oh, well. Ooh, focus relief efforts. Can we... Hey, not bad. tibet has gone. Hey, at least... At least with this focus tree... Uh, you can continue to put down unrest if you need to, which is a good thing. Have we built any refiners? Hey, we have built a few refiners. That's not bad either. Look at that. Can you make more infrastructure? We're actually doing pretty well now. Now we've figured out a good little spot to be in, which is an ideal spot to be, you know. It's always, good to it's always good to find solutions to issues and problems. Usually. Unless you want the problem to continue, and then that's not very good. Unless it's part of your game plan. Empire celebrates Eid. Well, happy Eid, everyone. Happy Eid. I might be saying that wrong. I don't think I am, but I could be. Now you guys might be able to do stuff right here if we really wanted to. Hmm. What if you attack this direction? All but this one division attack here too. See what you can do. 
That's it's quite the tall order, I will say. But if you could, if you could break through, you could cut all these guys off, perhaps. Could you guys do that? Yeah, yeah, you could attack on the other side, too, yeah. Oh, we're moving in. Tiflis will be ours, hopefully, very soon. Very, very soon. Any upgrades? Oh, I said upgrades, not new generals. Uh, not too much, no. Hey, we're actually doing pretty darn well here. Look at that. Nice, thank you. I love Georgia. Making Georgia... Ottoman again? Oh, look at that. Now, that's a nice encirclement. Bad bad supply right now, but hey, that's a nice encirclement. There you go. Alright, let's go and try to take the capital. See what happens. Maybe it'll go great. Maybe it won't go great. Let's see what happens. You never know until you try, right? You never know. Now, the attacks over here are still doing pretty well. Not great. Our line is sitting out, but once we get all these armies done over here, we should be a pretty gosh darn boy. Now, we've only killed off 200,000 of them. Quarter million. We've lost how many against the Georgians? 13,000? I'd say that's just pretty darn successful so far. So we've got even better Mountaineers. I should be using more Mountaineers, but we got more army XP as well, and I need to change these guys up as well, because they're not quite 40 combat width. Because these are some heavy mother truck and tankerinos. Engineers, yes. I'm actually going to throw on support rocket artillery, because that's so good. We are still making some light tanks. I'm going to throw that on there for slightly more armor. Throw that on there, and then we got to get some logistics as well. Now, you would usually normally use... Supply co uh, maintenance companies, and I still might. I'm not really sure yet. I might replace one of the artilleries with with, with some maintenance companies, but we'll see what happens. All right. So for now, if you guys could attack, that'd be great. If you guys could also help the attack as well, that'd be good as well. Keep these guys in place. Keep them, keep them in place. Cut them off. Take them. Off. Actually, cut them off from Sochi. That'd be good. <clears throat> yep. The Germans still not able to. Uh, they've almost been completely pushed back to Germany. Allies in the Orient. Great. Ottoman military missions. The military reforms undertaken by our empire have led to awe from our neighbors, whose armies still rely on tribal militias with limited training. These nations have now requested experts from Constantia to assist them in their modernization programs, promising great compensation for the program which hopes to strengthen the Muslim bloc. Also serves as an important political tool as sending Kamal's officers could strengthen domestic control over our allies. I can't read all this because there's no slider here, but okay. I'm assuming that's what they, they would say. I'm assuming that. They probably would say that. Ooh, nice. It is 44. Let's grab some of this. Nice. Oh, there goes the Dutch boys. Bye, Dutch boys. Bye. Oh, we cut them off from Sochi, even though they still have a port. Technically... For now. They should capitulate soon-ish. Let's get there. I want you to get over there. Get a Sochi. Quickly. Quickly. If you take the port, they're all... these guys are all dead then. They're all dead men, living for now. Sukhum? Oh, do we have another thing? Hey, Georgia's gone. Oh, it's just Georgia. Ooh, well, no one really helped us out there. Liberate to Armenia? I don't think so. Alright, at this point, we might as well do this. Everyone together? I'm sorry, Germany. It's, like I said before, it's nothing personal. It is what it is. Ostrakhan, is that Russian territory? Oh, it might be. What do we have here? Now, we could release Georgia. Oh, invite Af Oh, yeah, I love Afghanistan. Would you like to join, son? The fate of Georgia. <clears throat> I'll see if they join us or not. I got a, better, a bigger tank. Ooh, this would even be... I had to do bets a little bit ahead of time. Just a wee bit. Let's instead go with that. No. Rocketry... Uh, we could do that. Let's get some better planes, maybe. We're using tactical bombers, so we must have stick with it. And air doctrine is leaning towards that way as well. And I'm not going to upgrade this yet. As much as I'd like to, we're not going to because we need to get as much production on them as fast as possible. Hey. I don't remember asking for military access, but sure. Why not? Anything else? War propaganda? Eh, war propaganda wouldn't be bad. Fate of Georgia, though. Uh, our armed forces have defeated the Georgian regime. is now triumphantly marching through the streets of Tbilisi. Now, the only thing that remains to, to, to do is to determine the status of the Georgian territory. I'd love to occupy them, but I can't let my stability wars for uh, political power, so. And I don't want to deal with putting down the resistance. You serve us, Georgia. You serve us. You're a, a rightful protectorate of the Ottoman Empire, now led by Balding, Yosef Baratov. No divisions. A good amount of manpower. And that's why I'm going to request garrison support. Thank you for your manpower. As well as make divisions out of you. <clears throat> let's see, let's view that. that. Ain't bad, ain't great. Uh, they have a lot of tanks. You don't have. Oh, what about this one? 
Oh, this is trash. All right, well, we have to copy this and spend some of our own uh, army XP. If that's the case, we're going to be spending a lot of army XP. Get that, get that. Even though it's still... Actually, how much rocket artillery do we have? We have plenty of regular artillery, yeah. we got to keep it like that, then. Four. And we can only afford one of these, so then we'll throw on engineers, because engineers are really, really good. Going to train? How about two? Thank you, Georgia. We appreciate your service. And the Istanbul pack got just a little bit larger. Look at the Co-Prosperity Sphere. This is going to turn into like TNO Japan. Oh, man. Except they have all of India. Anyone have upgrades? No? Well, all right then. Looking not too bad. Not too great. That's going to take forever to do. Whew. And I'm glad we don't have to put down resistance here. That's, that's actually a really big plus for my mind. A huge plus. Alright, so we're happily done with that focus. we got a few days left. How many more days do we have of this? 12, 26. Huh, not bad. Islamic Federation of Turkestan and Afghanistan gets spirits. Hey, they get more division recovery rate, max planning, attack bonus against the country, so... Military mission's not bad, and we're actually attacking these guys properly. Uh, Rostov. Not bad. Pretty good. How are you guys looking down here? That tank division is looking god-awful. Hmm. Revert some reforms. Yeah, war propaganda wouldn't be bad. I want to save it up, though, to get rid of this. We definitely got to get some more steel, because, oh my goodness, it is not looking good. Hey, the dunk. <clears throat> well, since we did take them out primarily of ourselves, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I didn't realize that they were completely by themselves. Actually, I guess I sort of did, but not really. I'm going to do this. Y'all be led by this guy who's really good on defense. You know? If we can get the Ukraine under us too, great. Great. Go ahead, uh, cavalry. Your cavalry does really, really well. We're probably done mobilizing though, unfortunately. Cool. Yeah, yeah, we are. That's sad. Garrisons. Oh, the garrison's looking pretty good. Actually, we can probably replace this with you. Nice. And you guys are still 20 combat with. I'm actually going to throw on... Do we have... We can probably do this, right? Motorize. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Oh, yeah. Throw on the motorized artillery then. It's fine. Give these guys even a, a much harder punch against enemies. And mobile. That's all, oh, that's all we can afford. Oh, 34 combat with is god-awful. No, it's not that bad. It's not great. It's really not ideal to use, but... It's alright. The fate of the Kuban. Yeah, we'll probably release them. Oh, help. Are, are we in the same faction or something? I don't want to guard you. No. You guard yourself. Go ahead and move on in this way. I'm not going to guard your lines. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Oh, look at France. That's a big bulge in southern Germany. That sounds disgusting, but whatever. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Ums. We do have more political power. I, I've got to get rid of this, though. i got to get more civilian factory so I can get a little bit more steel. It's fine, whatever. Britain? Uh, I don't really want to support these guys. Ooh, Ethiopia. Yeah, no matter who I help, they're all, like, left-leaning nations. Okay, well, I guess Britain. So be it. Whatever. Brazil's gone. Oh, boy. At this point, that's looking good and all, but we could probably use a few more tanks since we can afford it. Get a few more pieces of this. Let's go down to five for now. I think that'd be okay. Let's move on over here. And we got that done. We got that done, which is nice. Land auction. We, of course, we are done with. This is good as well. We could do anti-air. Yeah, we could do anti-air, maybe. I suppose. I don't really use anti-air that much, but yeah, I guess we could use it. No better fighters. Yeah, that's good to get to shape up. That'd be good. There you go. <clears throat> well, maybe we'll take the Ukraine then. I mean, if the Russians can't do anything about it, and we can do something about it, then, uh... Don't mind if we do. Alright, fate of the Kuban. After a short campaign against the Kuban Plains, the Don Kuban Union finally capitulated, leaving us with the control of their country. We must now decide to do what to do with them. Liberate... Yeah, at this point, I don't really want to garrison that much. Just I know you, some of you guys want me to, some of you guys don't want me to. It's just better for us economically <clears throat> for us to do such a thing. Actually, I'm much closer. Oh, we need some natural nice focus. Nice. And a little by Pavel Bodionon. Bodionon. 
cool. I'm going to immediately ask for this because we can. Oh, 203,000 manpower. Great. Love it. Oh, you're on Scrape in the Barrel. Doesn't matter to me. You pay up. Found the Association of Muslim Nations. Envisioned as a block of mutual prosperity, the Association of Muslim Nations would be an economic alliance with a goal of reducing the reliance on European and American goods while also boosting domestic industrialization efforts of the various participating members. If we all bind together, we can't be picked off one by one and exert a certain pressure on the powers that be. Nice. Very nice, actually. Things are looking up for us. Another ally added to the Istanbul Pact. A beautiful pact. One that could rival the co-prosperity sphere or... E well, maybe not the Third International yet. But, uh... Oh, man, once these guys join. Oh, boy. We're probably actually stronger... Yeah, we're definitely stronger than the Entente now. They're looking mighty sad. Hey, just because... Oh, look, those guys go bye-bye. Just because we're not great doesn't mean the people are greater than us. Yeah. Keep making more heavy tanks, though. We definitely need them now. No, 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 no. I'm not going to fight for the Russians. I'm sorry, man. I'm not going to do that. They have their own battles to fight, and they don't want to fight them. So be it. So be it. <clears throat> Brazil, the German... What the heck? Casualty. Oh, this is just us. Okay, this doesn't involve uh, the Third International. I'm like, wow. They lost like 19 million. Actually, hold on. Let's take a look. Because overall, we're winning pretty much. Even without air superiority. Like, we have like no planes. German Ottoman War, of course. There's the Entente. Uh, let's see. And there's the Reichs Pact, of course. But that doesn't matter. The Australasian Mauritanian War. The reclamation of the Home Isles. 5 million. 2 million. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh no, 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 no. That's. I should have seen this one coming. I should have seen this one coming. Alright, now we got to stop doing what we want to do. Alright, so you guys are going to come over here and just be like, Hey, how about we hold? I should have realized that one. I should have, should have, should have, should have. I, I need a, the armies out now. Calling all conscripts. They're not really conscripts, but whatever. Please defend immediately. Please, 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 please come up here. Quickly, 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 quickly. You guys, form a line right here as well. And you guys form a line right here as well. Because you guys are going to be uh, helping destroy any sort of enemies that want to come and destroy people. Uh, oh, we were doing that too. Well, you guys got to come down here then and help protect this area. And do we have any other planes we can throw in there? No. Well, crap. That's not good. That's really not good. Oh, boy. Don't call these guys in. Please, come on. Dig in, dig in, dig in, dig in, dig in. Oh, my God, no. No, 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 no. It's called an Albania. Oh, crap. Move, 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 move. Some of you guys are actually moving very quickly, which I appreciate. Oh, man, I cannot afford to lose the capital. That's why I can sell my tanks down here. The Greek, the, it's a good thing the Greeks have not been called in yet. Oof. Now, just hold the line here. That's all I care about for you guys. Oh, hold on. Harkov? Yeah, I'll take that one. Move, 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 move. They want Bulgaria back. They really want Bulgaria back. Come on, guys. Move those chubby little legs. You've been eating too good. Come on. Go, 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 go. The Greeks have not been called in, which is great. The Romanians have been called in, but they're not moving too much yet. Hmm. I'll actually put you over here. Come on, go, 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 go. Let's see. Hey, we got enough rubber now. Nice. Fuel should be okay. Air stuff, we're working on. We're working on some more of this stuff. Armor's okay. It's almost 45. Let's go grab some better engineers. You know, I did say we want logistics and such like that. Come on, cavalry. Man, we spent so much man. Ah, right, well, maybe we'll lose some factories, but they got a lot of resistance, so... I wondered when they were going to do this. Why did they wait until literally 1945 to do so? And then fight... Okay. Well, okay. Now this could be worse. I mean, the Third International is doing very well. I mean, this is a little late for Austria to do jack squat. Maybe against us they can do stuff, but... Alright, we've got our guys on the line. Some of our guys. But unfortunately, I will be right back. My apologies about that, but I had to go use the restrooms, and I forgot to address some more comments. As I said earlier, we have to be careful about manpower. But someone recommends I play in Kaiser Redux mod... The Constitutional American Republic has a certain leader. Oh, it goes Valonia too, so we'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe not. I'm really surprised these guys aren't moving around at all, really. 
Uh, but it's a good thing these guys are actually getting on the line really quickly. Actually, I'm going to throw you over there. That'd be better. Also, other comments include... You might be able to change parties in the next election. Use console commands to finish the task or the, you know, the focuses from earlier. Yeah, we could. Oh, these guys, these guys are not called in yet. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Go with stability on the Arab Peninsula, which we did already. Annex Azerbaijan. We could. I'm tempted to do so. I'm very tempted to. Someone says that I should probably release Arabia, but at this point, it's impossible for us to, so I apologize. It's literally impossible for us to release Azerbaijan, which really sucks. Because there's no option here, too. So. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do this. We need to steal. Hey, not bad. That's looking better. That's looking better, too. Okay, I'm just kind of waiting for the Greeks to get up here. At this point, go ahead and do this, since we have a pretty good defense. If we can keep Sophia and the river, that'd be great. Let's go, 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 go. We'll probably lose Sophia, but that's okay. Oh, crap, that sucks. Actually, can we do this? No, we can't. Because the Romanians are not in a war. I don't think they are, actually. I'm gonna say they might be. No, maybe not. Uh, Navy invaded Ukraine and accidentally kept. And I accidentally kept on fast fortification. Yeah, I did that earlier, yeah. So they're attacking us. We're doing okay against them. Don't worry about that, guys. Don't worry about that. Yeah, it's not gonna be smart to do that. Do that, do that. Whee! Well, at least Romania's not in the war against us. That's good. You guys, however, can still probably do some good stuff here, though. Like an encirclement. Right here. Especially against some weak Ukrainian divisions. Not bad. Will it be enough to defeat these guys? Oh, they definitely are attacking us, though. Hey, let's do God on the line. That's good. Can we actually win here? Ooh, we're actually losing here, which is not ideal. That's fine. We can reform the front line. Uh, have everyone hold. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just go ahead and do this, 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 and then do... Th no, no. I need this airbase. And I'm sure the Austrians need it, too. So let's do that. That should work okay for us. Brazil's gone. Good. Goodbye, Brazil. So maybe instead of, like, completely being able to puppet the Ukraine, we might just be able to get a chunk of them, maybe? We'll see what happens. I don't know. Oh, man. Come on. You gotta defend better than this. How dare you? What are they using against us? They gotta be doing, like, force attack or something. That's a bit ridiculous, I'd say. Um... Come on, guys, you've got... Oh, maybe not. Maybe you don't got this. All right, well, let's do it again. Whee! That's fine. Just hold on for now. You don't need to attack anymore. Don't waste lives. Did they overran us? Did they overrun us? Hold the flippin' bad word phone. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Venice is gone. That's good. Are you kidding me? Okay, Greece. Just get in the goddamn war. There we go. That's better. Now, and we're going to go to war with the Romanians, too. Can we actually form just a front line? That's all I want right now. Why can't I form a front line? What the heck? Okay, now this is pissing me off. They're all in the Reich's Pact, but I can't form a front line? What type of logic is that? Who designed that? What the heck? Hold on, how are we losing this? How? I mean, yeah, we don't have air superiority, but that shouldn't matter too much. They got 11 divisions. Let's see. Oh my god! Look at that damage! Holy crap. Yep, okay. Anti-air time, then. Anti-air. Wait, why can't we build anti-air? Requires... We don't have anti-air. Well, bad word. Well, if that's the case, I'm making a extreme uh, front line here. Whee! Right here. And just in case, I'm gonna make it extend the front line up first. Okay, Japan. Well, good luck with that. Good luck with that. So they've been holding all these planes in. And they're not using them against the Third International. Wow. They're forcing all their attacks on me instead of the Third International. Man, that is... Got overran. Okay, I am really going to just butcher the Austrians here then. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. What the heck? The amount of damage they do is insane. Condense, condense, retreat, retreat. 
You guys, come up here too. Okay, game, stop lagging. Come over here. I mean, they should be taking an extreme amount of damage from us, right? Yeah, that's not bad, but not really that much. 70,000? Yeah, I'm glad the socialists are winning now. I'm really glad they're winning, because this is, this is not cool. Another sub's good. Because we lost a few subs earlier, actually. Uh, don't do that area. Go and come down here and do that. Second rig is the mental complete. Oh, and... Oh, well, I mean, I thought Romania was already in the war against us, but whatever. Oh, God. Medium. Wait, now you called on the war after I did that? Come on, man. Can we finally actually do this? Finally? I declared war on them, and yet nothing happened. Yeah, Austria, you're going to get the hell smacked out of you. Because you put all your soldiers against me right now. And all that air damage. That's ridiculous. Oh my goodness, that makes me angry. Could you guys actually win here? Yeah, I could probably actually push in a little bit more. That'd be good. Wow. Just wow. Screw you guys. Okay, game, stop lagging so hard. Please. I know it's 45, but still. At this point, I think we could be able to break their lines this way. Force the attack. Doesn't matter. We can be able to... We can win this way. I know we can. Okay. Well, I, I know we can, but the, our allies don't seem like... Don't think that we can. What the heck? Come on. Wow, we lost a sub. Don't we have planes in the air? We do, but they're not doing anything, are they? They're just not very good, are they? Then again, it is 45. And these subs are not very good. But I guess... Yeah, we're gonna need some more... Stuff over around here. Well, Austria is going to get smacked down so hard. They should not have joined the war, but... You know, they made their choices. And I am losing quite a few guys. And I know I shouldn't be attacking like this, but it is what it is. And the Ukrainians are pretty much done. Air production. Cool. So, yeah, I think I'll just take the Ukrainian at the end of this war. I mean, I don't think the Russians really deserve it. Then again, if I do take Bucharest, they can have the Ukraine. I can take Bucharest, and they don't. the Russians don't get Bucharest. Not a bad idea. Uh, come down here so we can stop sucking on supply. That, that definitely should help out. I'm actually going to pull you guys off and come down here, because it's looking really bad right there. Anyone navy invading us? Hey, the Union Britain's invading Greece. Good, they deserve it. Very good. Oh, found the association. Cool. Joint military exercises. Not bad, not bad. Interlinked roads. That's not bad. And, ooh. Some more factories. As outlined in Chapter 1 of the Economic Unity Agreement, the goals of the Councils are as follows. Organizing and consolidate economic relations among the state of the Arab League on the basis that are consistent with the natural and historical links among them, and to provide the best conditions for flourishing the economies, developing the resources, and ensuring the prosperity of their countries. We'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens with that. Alright, so we're going to stop going crazy here. Because we have reached the Romanian border, and we don't need to go so crazy anymore. Yeah, I'll take Romania. They, they can have the other stuff. Support companies. Let's get some more military police, because that's always useful. Always, 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 always. Oh my goodness, we need so many of these. Just, just do that anyways, whatever. Oh, we need even more steel now. God dang it. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take all the Balkans. They can have Ukraine. But the Balkans will be ours. Kiev? Kiev? Huh. So many dead. Mostly from the German Empire. King Edward abdicates the throne. New British King? Goodness. Yeah, that's not a d not enough dead Austrians. That's not enough. That's definitely not enough. En Ooh, engineers? Even better engineers. Nice. Dig in harder, guys. Dig in harder. Grab some more of this, and then we'll grab some logistic companies, too. Keep, keep digging in, because they're going to not stop attacking you. Like how they keep bombing like ships, god dang it. There you go. Spread out even more. Spread yourselves out even further more. And just cut yourselves down to half. So it's harder to find you guys. Just gonna pull it out. Come on, come on. There you go. Go and repair everyone. That'd be good. There you go. Good luck. Admiral, good luck. You're hopefully getting more experience. 
Finding convoys, sinking those bad boys, having a good time. There you go. Very nice. What is this? Invert some stuff. Oh, invite other people? Yes. Invite them all. See what we can do. War propaganda would not be bad. Oh, we get a lot more nations. That'll help us out. How much political power do we get? We get one a day. Not great, but whatever. He should be actually loading a lot more when we split our guys up like this. A lot more, actually. Cool. Very good. Very good. Let's grab some more bombers. That's good. We need more aluminum, no, but, though, but whatever. Man, the Union of Britain is really strong. Oman accepts invitation. Wadai, Sudan. Somalia, obviously. Persia. Afghanistan. Or East Turkestan. Gives us 5.05 more political power. One of them addresses, huh? No, if that's the case. What else do we have here? Low. Okay, low. Armenia, of course. Very high. Let's get it down to medium. That'd be better. And that's not bad. Well, at least now I know that we should probably make some more anti air. And probably more military factories. That's good. Even more land force just in case. Yeah, holy crap. Yeah, I don't know what was up with the AI, but they just like were focusing on us probably the most, and they just let in the social. Pretty much, pretty much, just let in the Socialist Republic of Italy. They're like, oh, we're just the French. It's just the Italians. We gotta kill off those tourists. I'm like, what? No. If anything, the, the Third International is way more. Uh, not violent, but threatening than me, of all nations. We don't even have 200 factories. Hopefully well, we're building up the roads here in Burgas, right? Yes, we are. Get supply kind of suckerinos. Now, what is the biggest contributing factor to the suckage of supply? Uh, let's see. Local infrastructure, 13. 25% of previous infrastructure. Over here, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's a little overdone here in Adrianople. Yeah, you guys keep attacking. See what happens. Just watch what happens. We're going to probably lose a few more planes here, so be it. Or a few more subs, I should say. The Union of Britain is really strong. What is going on with these guys? Off the whole no. What is up with you? They must have a lot of planes. They've got to have, That's a lot of manpower. They're all, all adults serve. That's a lot of divisions. Oh, my goodness. How many of those guys have we killed? We've lost 360, which is not good. We've only killed off a quarter million of them. Not good enough. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're literally just letting the Italians and the French in at this point. This is so sad. We're pretty much just letting them in. Oh. Persia. Persia, my boy. Ethiopia? Thank you. Anything else? No, not really. Could use a few things of this. There you go. Uh, land forts. I think we're done pretty much with land forts. I think we'll be okay. Even though they are attacking us as soon as I say this. They can't really bust through our lines, which is good. Good, 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 good. Oh, I can get some pretty high-level radar. We could probably do that. <clears throat> so I want Bulgaria. I want Greece and Romania. And Serbia. Yeah. Third International can have all the rest. But if I have to station all my armies here, that's what I want. It's not a very fair peace deal, but I don't care. Follow Vienna. What, what did they expect? They focused on me so hard. What did they expect? German Empire has yet to give it up. Well, they've got quite a few of them. 97%. Let's see. Bulgaria. Kingdom of Ukraine. The Austrians. I mean, it's like they think that we're the biggest issue here. People are literally walk, literally walked into Vienna. My goodness, the AI it makes me question... A lot of things sometimes, man. A lot of things. <clears throat> Actually, I was looking at this to see. Austria has to fall, as well as Germany, and that's it. Wow. Look how weak they are. Incredibly weak. Can we attack and win? Probably not, because they have a lot of air superiority, right? No, they don't. Alright. We'll see what happens. More divisions? Thank you. Throw them right here. That'd be good. Alright, so let's go here. Can you guys actually win? Maybe. Maybe. Oh yeah, we need to get a razor conscription level 2 next. That'd be good. Heavy tanks, not looking great. 
There goes Grease. I mean, look at that. That's so stupid. You put all the... Uh, now that, now they're moving soldiers around. We could honestly probably do a full frontal attack at this point. Three, two, just go ahead, everyone. You will definitely do well up here, probably. Of course, then again, they do have a lot of planes, but... Hmm. You guys probably won't be able to do that well. I would like to push up here, though. You guys should have this done. Let's follow Sydney. Not looking good for these guys. Then again, Sydney's not in the Reich's back, but whatever. Uh, guys, fellas. I mean, they're literally... Look at that. They're literally going to die here. Ooh. Great military exercises. I like infrastructure. So, with the modern age being pushed by cars and railroads, the need for an interconnected railway system has become more more apparent. Due to the difference in colonial occupants, each with their own railway gauges, we will have to work. We'll have our work cut out for us. But plans for the unification of the rail in Egypt, the Mashriq, and the Western Persians have already been drafted. Well, that's good. Go and stop attacking. Just kind of hold. That was not a very good attack. We lost quite a few guys. We should have inflicted way, way more casualties. Yep, look at that. Once they're gone, we're going to attack again. Because those soldiers won't be able to do anything. Give it any second. I mean, they're going to capitulate very, very soon. I want Kiev. Kiev. That'd be like a crown jewel on taking these guys out. Come on, please. No, come on. Oh, I hate the Austrians right now. I hate them so much. You guys should kill these guys off. Don't even, like, let them live. Thank you. Thank you. And let's grab that. Well, let's grab this one. Thank you very much. God, the Ottoman Empire is such a sick man of Europe. Denmark, too? Nice. Come on, Austria. Give it up. Give it up. They say we will have good chances. Three. Two. One. We got more max planning. Hopefully. More entrenchment. Here we go. Now we should be able to bust through a lot of this. Maybe not down here through Greece. But at least up through here. Because we've just got to go. 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 We can't force the attack. Which is probably good for soldiers. You're going to have to help out here immediately. That's a good air superiority. Well it's red. But there's no planes in the air. Oh hold on. There's cast maybe. But. Hmm. The more casualties that we take, the uh, higher score we get, right? Oh, they're banning the line. They're banning the line. Go ahead. Go, 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 go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and do that, guys. That'll be good. We're not going to win there. That's fine. Whatever. Does not matter. It's a collapse of the Reich's Pact as we see it right now. With Austria giving up, basically. Poland and half of Germany are just... They're screwed. Especially with the uh, Norwegian Union doing pretty well and taking coming down from the north, so... Oh, there they go. There goes the Ukrainians. Go, go, go. We will have the Balkans. We must. Help out, help out, help out. Come on, come on, come on. Guys, Italy, please cut these guys off. Please cut these guys off. I hate the third international incompetence. I hate it so much. It's not that many guys that we have to get, or that much more land we have to get. They take so long to kill the German Empire. That's what I want you to do. None of that is our business up there. None of it is. There you go. Now hold, because we probably are out of some equipment. Rocket artillery, of course. Anti-air upgrades are nice. Grab even more anti-air, because we could probably use that. Even though it does help if I actually make it. Let's just take Berlin. Hey, that's not my land. I don't have to defend that. What have you just held? Yeah, I guess technically it is our land for now. All right, if if. I should have just not stopped attacking. There you go. Oh, Russia, Russia, Russia. What are you doing? Stop attacking. 
There we go. That's good. Break over here. Come over here. You can take Galati. We'll have enough time to get it. Good. Crush them. That'd be very nice. We've almost linked up with these guys down here, which would be awesome, awesome, awesome. Military police is good. And who's else capitulated? Albania. Good. And let's grab you finally. Come on, guys. Even the Norwegian Union is doing better now than the Commune of France. Even though I doubt they have nearly as many enemies as they worry about over here, but Berlin is going to not be looking very good very soon. Alright, guys, come over here. Take one of you guys. Come over there, too. Oh, Austria. Oh, Austria. Do we have any upgrades, at least, for these guys? Maybe? Yes, no, maybe so. At least that's good. Um, hmm. I don't want to do another general attack because I don't want to waste any more manpower. And we've got to raise the conscription level too. But hey, you know what? Maybe we can attack here and do it pretty well. Supplies looking not too good, but whatever. Of course, we do have 40 combo with infantry here. Some of them are. Not bad. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. There we go. Take out the port. That would be great. They're cut off from the Black Sea then. Which doesn't mean too much, but whatever. Any other ships? No. Any upgrades? Probably not. Nope. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Uh, I'm not going to get involved in that right now. So, this is a really big old race against time against the Russian Empire. And the Third International. So, you know what? Hmm. This is not good. This is really, really, really not good. Well then. Hmm. What I can hope for, though is for the capitulation of the Reichspact really, really quickly, actually. Because now, we've got to shuffle our forces around. So, in essence, this is not going to be good. So, I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to leave two armies to defend against these guys. You two, come over here. So, you got to defend against the entire group, and I'm going to take whatever I want from these guys. Good luck with that. Actually, no, you can have one big old army here. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. Let's do one, two. Actually, yeah, why not? One massive front line. That's not going to be very good. But whatever. The Russians should not be extremely difficult to beat, though, at this point. Because they did not push very much. They have a lot of manpower. But I don't think they have a lot of guns. Which will hopefully be a good thing. Socialist Republic of Italy. Hello. Please don't kill me off too much. Too hard. So at this point, we're just waiting for the Third International, who we have to kill off next, to fight Berlin and kill them off for us. Hmm. Not good. I don't know. Maybe I don't even want to fight them. I'll be, I'll, I'll be honest here. I don't know if I really even actually want to fight them at all. Just because it's, it's too much. It's just too much for us. We have less than 300 factories. If I had 300 factories and we had enough, like, supply, it might be okay, but I don't know, man. The Russians, I think we could take the Russians definitely, but everything else, it's a bit extreme. It's just a bit extreme. I might do a... What do they call it? Time lapse, then. Of me attempting to do this. What the heck happened here? Okay, seriously. Capitulate the Germans. Capitulate the Germans. What the hell are you waiting for, guys? Come on, move, 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 so we can do the peace deal. Okay, I was going to use you guys as kind of backup, because they, they are going to naval invade us. I'm going to have to station you guys down here, though. Oh, actually, I have a good tank division. Look at that. I'll see then. Cool. I'm actually going to see. Are they out of manpower? Yeah, they are. Uh, do that just in case. There you go. You should have enough. Ethiopia. We're going to need way more. Maximize that. Good. Service by requirement. That is such BS against us. Such BS. Orders were in Don Caban Union. Cool. Come on. Just take Berlin. Out of, out of everything that's happened so far, just take Berlin. I think definitely the Commune of France needs a nerf or something. 
I mean, the way they came back, and the Union of Britain did as well, and they took out Spain at the same time getting pummeled, all oh, heck, from Germany? A bit extreme. The Red Pope. Oh, crap. Now, that is something you don't see in every campaign. And they're attacking us down there, so, hmm. I'm literally just waiting for the for the capitulation of the Reichs back. Because we have to have it so I can retreat. And then set up more defenses. Because I, I, I'm going to have to abandon portions of the government around here. Government. The, the land around here, too. So you guys are actually down here. Which you've done a good job doing so. If you guys could, like, defend right at a good checkpoint, like, right here, that would be very ideal. There you go. I don't think I could take on the, the Third International. I might be able to capitulate the Russians. The Russians have proven to be extremely weak. Actually, even the French Commune. I mean, they can't even take Berlin, for God's sakes, yet. It's June 1945. Come on, guys. How have you not killed them off yet? How have you not killed them off? Uh, I'll give it. I'll give it. A, I'll give it a good shot. I'll give it a good shot. Just take Berlin, for the love of God! Just take Berlin. How have, how how have they not capitulated yet? How the heck have they not capitulated yet? Ay uh, yeah, yeah. So just go ahead and come on in. This doesn't matter to me. All right, that's the case. We're gonna have to abandon parts of the line here. So where are you guys located? You guys are oh, there. I'm gonna abandon the area, and we're gonna retreat. You guys, just retreat back down to where we were pretty much at. We should knock out of the, the forts here. You guys, ooh, let's see where you guys are at. One, two, three, that's not bad. And what we're gonna do is this. Another field marshal. You'll be led by this guy. He's not too bad. We'll find another army to do that there. We're gonna defend from right behind the river. Uh, well, let's go up this, to this river. That's what you gotta do. Move, 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 move. We're gonna lose a few divisions doing this, but it's a necessary evil. Uh, go that way. Retreat that way. That'd be fine. Doesn't matter. I'm taking what I deserve in this peace deal. Because the Russians just randomly declared war on Don Kuban Union. Come on. Clap to the right spec. Good. Thank God. But that's probably where we're gonna end today's episode. Where we're gonna I'm gonna defend like crazy in the next one. Just to see what happens in the Peace Conference in a while, and there we go, and hopefully, oh look at that, it's a giant mess. Hopefully we'll get some, a good peace deal out of this, maybe, maybe not, but regardless, if it doesn't, I will make sure that we get what we deserve, but regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, when we will attempt to defend against the evil, evil Third International. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.